Ciencia en el Parlamento es una iniciativa ciudadana independiente, organizada por científicos y científicos, en la cual tratamos de conseguir que el método científico y el espíritu crítico que la ciencia tiene sea de utilidad y esté a disposición de los políticos españoles. El asesoramiento científico a los parlamentos, es decir, al poder legislativo, a quien, cuando se están preparando las leyes, es algo que está extendido en la mayoría de países que nos gustaría parecernos. De hecho, hay una red europea de oficinas de asesoramiento científico a los parlamentos, la cual está Inglaterra, Francia, Alemania, el mismo Parlamento Europeo. So Post is actually going to be 30 years old next year. Um, we, uh, we began uh, back in the 1980s. Um, there was a group of parliamentarians who felt that there was a real need for science advice and that they didn't have access to the specialist knowledge um, that, that they needed in order to, to inform their decision making. They started looking about to see um, uh, what, what other services were available elsewhere and they had a trip over to the States where at the time there was a science advice office um, in, in the Congress there um, and they decided that this is exactly the, the sort of service that we want to have back in the UK. So one of the, the very earliest contributors uh, was Margaret Thatcher um, and, and the story goes that uh, she opened up her handbag and she took out her cheque book and she uh, wrote a cheque and she said this, this may help you with your fundraising um, and, uh, and I'm sure um, as, as a scientist herself originally she, she probably had a very good understanding of, of how important science is uh, to, to policy making. Esta iniciativa arranca el 1 de enero de 2018. En poco más de un mes se nos sumaron decenas de instituciones y todos los grupos, desde el Partido Popular, Partido Socialista, Podemos, Ciudadanos, los grupos nacionalistas, todos, cuando les hemos presentado la iniciativa, en la mesa del Congreso, entonces, les ha encantado la iniciativa. Nos dimos cuenta que la diferencia entre España y otros países es que, si bien en España sí es normal que un gobierno, si necesita información al respecto de un tema, por ejemplo, la crisis de ébola, en pocas horas había una comisión científica experta diciendo qué había que hacer y reactivamente tratando de solucionar el problema. Pero, ¿qué pasa a la hora de diseñar una ley sobre cómo la inteligencia artificial debería implantarse o sobre cómo la protección de datos debería estar utilizándose o sobre el último avance genético para que nuestro país sea el primero que pueda tener ciertas terapias. Para eso no es el poder ejecutivo, el gobierno, quien soluciona esos problemas, sino el poder legislativo, el parlamento, es quien tiene que prever que eso va a pasar y preparar las leyes de forma que podamos de verdad muy pronto adaptarnos a un sistema en el que la tecnología y el conocimiento va avanzando. Parliamentarians are incredibly busy people um, and they are bombarded with huge amounts of information um, and much of that information will be coming with an agenda so obviously they're the, the focus of a lot of lobbying um, so I think it's really important that they know that they can come to, to post um, or to the parliamentary libraries um, for information which they, they can be sure will be um, absolutely accurate, very thoroughly checked and absolutely independent as well. So we're very, uh, we're, we're quite well known for our four-page post-note briefings, um, and producing one of those takes about three months, um, and it involves um, looking at the literature, um, but also going out and doing lots of interviews. So typically, we'll speak to about 25 or 30 um, experts from across um, all the different interest groups. I think our work on microplastics pollution is a really good example. Um, after we published that briefing, we held an event in Parliament, um, which was an opportunity for members to, uh, to meet some of the experts and to discuss the issues in more depth. They explored the issue in more depth and as part of their scrutiny work, looking to see what, what government was doing about the issues and um, uh, uh, making recommendations. Plastic pollution is now very high on the agenda and, and the government has made changes um, to its policy and, and to the legislation in order to uh, reduce um, our use of plastics.